<laughs> All right, so tonight's dinner is going to be a easy cheesy keto casserole. That's the actual, well, that's not the actual name. I know, right? That's a mouthful. So the YouTuber that I got this from, and of course I have to switch it up a little bit to make it my own, she, Kath, Catherine, hold on. <gasps> you forgot her name? How could you? Her name is her YouTube channel. <laughs> it's Catherine Michelle. Catherine Michelle. That's just it. That's it. So that is her name and her YouTube channel. I have the recipe. I'm going to get the macros and stuff um, later after we get done. I need that over here, though. She has been doing keto for several years. I actually started watching her um, when I first started my weight loss journey a little over a year ago. But I always switched her keto recipes to low carb. Well, now I'm keto, so now I'm like, okay, I gotta start paying attention to her videos. So she did this. And it looks so damn good. I got one pound of hamburger and one pound of ground pork. Ooh, thanks. And we're going to pop both of these in here and start browning them. Get them browned up. Get them browned, browned up both. Actually, no. He's not got pork on his hand. So, we're just going to sit here and get these cut up. And then I'll be right back because you guys don't want to hear all this. Okay. So, I'm going to pre preheat the oven at 400. There we go. And this is going, the whole thing is going to cook for like 25 minutes. So, the meat. I just wanted to bring you guys back over here real quick. We're going to throw in a little bit of salt. Just a little bit, because you got that pork in there. And then we're going to do some pepper. Just like that. And some garlic. Woo! Not that much garlic. Just like that. Just a little bit because I'm going to add this to the cream sauce as well. So, let's see. Oh, also, if you notice anything flapping around that's white, my earrings. Hello. So, the, one of the ladies, one, and I say one of because I have a lot of paparazzi ladies that I buy from. And she was on today and she has some more um, fringe earrings that I can't wait to get my hands on. But her name is Crystal Martin, Martindale. Martindale. Crystal Martindale. And her page will be linked down in the description below. If y'all don't know what paparazzi jewelry is, it's $5 jewelry. It's lead and nickel free, which is why I can wear them. And, and if I sound like I should sell it, it's because you used to. It's because I used to. <laughs> but I don't know more. I just help support other paparazzi ladies because been there, done that. All right. And I do like the fact that I can wear the earrings because they're lead and nickel free. All right, so that is about done. I'm going to turn that off. We're going to take these items over here with us because we're going to make the cream sauce. So you need a microwave safe bowl and then you're going to take some heavy whipping cream, some cream cheese and parmesan. So 
So first, I'm going to take my 8 ounce brick of cream cheese. Alright, I'm going to go on the other side of you. Okay. Is it too much light? Yeah, that and you can't really see what you're doing if you have to oh. stand in front of the bowl. There we go. Oh, okay. So, I just got to get this opened up. So now this is going to be a very rich um, dinner. So we're only going to have a little bit of it. And then I'm going to do a side salad. Ugh, there we go. So we need to make this soft so that I can whip it. Whisk it, whip it, however you want to say it. I've got to blend it. How about that? Good. All right. I'm going to put this in the microwave. Caitlin's going to put this in the microwave for like one minute. And then we'll be right back. All right, the oven is preset. I just want to make sure I get the measurements right. I think it's three fourths. Mm -hmm. It helps to have the right recipe. Okay, three fourths of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now, when I saw her doing this, she only used like, a, you know, one of these. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not right. As I watched carefully, she actually went back in before she cut the video. So, if you have a one-fourth cup teaspoon or... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's not going to... I know that. One of these thingies and it says one-fourth cup, do this three times. So there's one, two, okay, now, that's okay, oh, oh. I told you that it was shaken. It got shaken, it's fine, I'm going to grab the, that heavy whipping cream is shook, I'm going to grab my half and half, it'll be fine, it's not that big of a deal. Well, you could still use that. Oh, I'm going to, but it's not full. Okay. You broke it. So I just want to fill this one up a little bit more. There she goes. So you know you get a little bit of unsweetened whipped cream in there. That's okay. No big deal. It's fine. Or not whipped cream. Yeah. Whip. Yeah, it'd be whipped and cream because it's whipped cream. Yeah. But yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. All right. So. Now, here comes the fun part. You need one full cup of Parmesan. This is fresh Parmesan. So it is very strong and very pungent. And it tastes amazing. And it's awesome. I try to do block cheeses because bagged cheeses have like a powdery stuff on them. And it's weird. Which is why they doesn't stick together. That's what you call a creepy carb. But we were on a budget and this was on sale. A there what? A it, creepy carb? Creepy carbs. This the the powdery stuff in here is like a starch. It's a floury starch, which is what they call a creepy carb because it's not listed as an ingredient. Oh they being snacky. This Really? <laughs> All right, so let's get this mixed in together. Okay, I may have to switch over to a fork. I thought this would be a good idea, but... Well, if you just keep doing it like that, yeah. eventually it'll be fine. Just got to get it mixed in. Get nice and neat with that. There we go. There we go. You got it? Mm -hmm. Careful because it's right next to your face. Okay. Well, at least you told me this time. So don't like jerk your head down or anything because that would probably hurt. Oh, yeah, there it is. Hi there. 
Hey there, ho there, how you doing? All right. Get that mixed up really good. All right, so now I'm gonna- That looks great. Grab some pepper. Coming out the right side of it would be good. Well, I can't see. Looks good. And I'm actually not going to put any more salt in there because I know the cheese that she used was the pre-bagged stuff and so it probably didn't have a lot of salt. This stuff does. So I'm not going to put garlic in that one. In this one. Salt. Salt. That's what I meant, salt. We're putting garlic in here. You're definitely putting garlic in there. Yeah. It would be it would be a illegal not to. Yeah, it would be a crime. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, now we're just gonna mix this up really good. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit off to the side. We're gonna get our casserole dish. And you could totally do this as a do-ahead meal. If you wanna do this in the afternoon when you have more energy and put it in the refrigerator, go for it. Just remember, if you put it in a glass dish, Take it out of the refrigerator, bring it to room temperature before you put it in a hot oven. Or your pan will crack, possibly shatter. And then you have glass in your food and that's not good. Yeah. All right. Well, if it, if it cracks or shatters, you have to throw it away. You can't run the risk. All right, so I've that's got- what it said. Okay. I've got broccoli. I had a big, huge Costco bag of big florets, and so I had to cut it up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do half of this with just broccoli, and half of it with broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Woo! Katie and I love Brussels sprouts. Jeremy, not so much. So, I'm going to try and keep this over here. But I want some broccoli for us too. But I want him to have enough broccoli on his side to make it tasty. Yeah. That's I good. Think, yeah, I think we'll do it that way. Just push, push, it a little bit there. push the Brussels sprouts over a bit. Yeah, I'm trying, baby. I just gotta mix it up. Oh shoot, I gotta mix everything up. Okay. See, if I had more broccoli, it would have been a little bit easier, but that's okay. Well, we're just gonna make do with what we have. It's fine. I believe in you. Okay, make sure he has enough there. All right. So now we're gonna put our cream sauce. No, we're not. No, Meat. we're not. Meat first, then cream sauce. Okay, meat first. Okay, I'm gonna need you to be very careful. No, I'm, hold on. Ugh. Look, this pan is huge. All right. I'll go this way. do this without mixing everything together. I do. Do you have anything for them? 
Yeah, we, uh, I think so. We should. Mm -hmm. Just make like a little divider thing to put in between them. Because your dad really doesn't like. You gotta move the camera. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, just make a little divider. Or I'll make it for you. I don't know, y'all. I'm just winging it. That's why I said I could make it. Whatever. It's fine. It works. Alright. We'll give him more of the meat then. There we go. There we go. Alright. So now we're going to take half of this and put this over here, like that, and take the other half, put it over here. I'm going to put this over here. And like I said, I'm going to figure out the macros and all of that when I get done. Okay. And now we're just going to try and mix this up very, very carefully. Because it is full. I feel like there should be more of the cheese stuff. Nope, because once it starts to melt... Yeah. You just got to be careful. And just be very gentle with it. Okay, when we're done, I'll be right back, guys. I think this is going to take a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to take some full fat matzo. The bag is two cups. I could have sworn she said one cup, but she's, it shows her emptying the bag on top. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put the whole bag. I think we should. I think there's enough cream in this and enough cheese in this to chuck well, okay. the bag on horse. <laughs> then just take a little bit extra and put it in the corner over here. I think we're good. Well, it's just, it's just for me. Okay, just like that. Just like that. I'm, the, I'm not using any more. Nope. Okay, so this side over here is Jeremy's. So I'm going to take some of the um, regular cheese, the cheddar cheese. I'm just going to sprinkle that on top to indicate. Oh, so he gets more cheese. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're such a dork. This is not fair. All right, so that's it. So now I'm going to put this in the oven at 400 for about 25 minutes. <gasps> that's a lot of time. Well, yeah, that's what it's going to take, though. <gasps> wow, really? There it goes. All right, there she goes. 25 minutes. 
Oh, we didn't do the thing. Oh, we didn't, did we? Oh, well, that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna switch over and make um, side salads. So I will be right back. Bam! Magic. It's done. Look. Woo! This is Katie and I's side. This is Jeremy's side because you can see some of the orange. So she had a serving size that was like this. Because again, this is very, very rich. And she probably took more than that, but that's all I'm taking because it's very rich. Mm. So if I had to guess. How rich is it? I mean, one, some fancy one, food. Two. So there's five on that side, probably four on this side, so that's nine. So I'm going to say nine servings the way it is. Um, no, I'm going to say 10 servings. I just need it so I can get the servings down and do all the macros and all the numbers and stuff. So I'm going to say 10 servings because it's very rich. <laughs> so you don't want that much. I'm going to pair it with a salad. So if y'all come over this way. Here, can I have a plate? Huh? Can I see a plate real quick? Oh. Well, I'm going to take this one too for daddy. That's what it's going to do. Okay, so I'm going to have a little bit of regular lettuce. Iceberg. Just like that. And some baby spinach. Oops, not that much. Just break it up a little bit. And it's, it's everywhere. Ah, that's fine. It's just lettuce. I'm do it like that. <gasps> no, my God, it was on my plate. Do a few little tomatoes. A few little onions. A few little avocados. I gotta wash my hands. Hold on. So now I'm going to have Sriracha Ranch and I'm not putting any cheese on this salad. <gasps> How could you? It has to have cheese. Oh, uh, I've got enough cheese over here to choke a horse. So I'm not going to do that. So there you go. That's dinner. That is our easy cheesy keto casserole. There we go. Woo! That's a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I hope you make this. If you do, tag me in it. Let me know. I want to see pictures. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you need the recipe, I'm going to write everything out. Well, it's already written out. I'm going to do all the numbers and the macros and all that good stuff. And that will be posted on my Instagram and Facebook. So if you're not already following me over there, go do so if you like the recipe. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. That greatly helps. I cannot tell you how much it helps. So, until next time, see y'all later. Bye!